Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. I just hit my tripod. Sorry about that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, think about subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. And if you have any suggestions below for any other questions you might have, then please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'm open to suggestions. But today, I want to go over mattress encasements. I get a lot of questions all the time on my videos about using total mattress encasements. I actually just talked to a lady from Canada about mattress encasements, and her children are using them. And the, the problem that I have with mattress encasements is the way that I go about treating bed bugs. All right, so if you don't know my channel, I'm against heat treatments. And the main reason, I'm not saying heat treatments don't work. What I'm saying is that they are too expensive. I'm saying that the price of heat treatments are way too expensive. It's not a big deal to do a couple heat treatments to get rid of bed bugs. But he said a couple. I thought heat treatments work just once. They don't. That's the problem with heat treatments, is you spend a lot of money on a heat treatment and they don't work the first time. And that's the issue, is that heat is just not an effective way to get rid of bed bugs. A lot of people will use mattress encasements to try to eliminate bed bugs in their bed. That what it is, is it's, for those that don't know, it's like a bag that fits around your entire mattress. It encompasses the entire mattress, top, bottom, everything. It's not like a fitted sheet. It's a total encasement, so it actually wraps around the entire mattress and it zips usually all the way around one side so that you can just kind of pull it on like a glove and zip it shut. And the, the theory behind mattress encasements is that it will uh, starve the bugs, okay? They, if they can't get to you to feed, then they'll die of starvation, which sounds great. Logic will tell you if you keep a food source away from any living creature, it'll kill it because it'll starve to death. <coughs> Excuse me, it will starve to death. That is correct. If you keep food from any living creature, the creature will starve. But the problem with bed bugs, bed bugs can live at least... 18 months without a blood meal. Now, the reason I say at least is because there have been scientific studies where they have been able to get them to live in a lab longer than 18 months. I believe the last guy was like three years, which is a long time without eating anything. But now this is a lab and that's under perfect conditions. You know, no predators. You're not rolling over on the bed. You're not picking them up and squishing them or anything like that. So there are a lot of variables not at play in a lab. So take that, you know, and understand that 18 months is the typical, that's the typical um, life, lifespan of a bed bug without a blood meal. So you're, said, you're probably thinking, so all I need to do is keep a mattress encasement on for a couple years. That'll be well over the amount of time I need. Bed bugs should all be dead. The problem with a mattress encasement is that they rip and they tear. Even the most expensive mattress encasements. Now, if I think about it, I'm going to include some pictures along the side, either along this side or that side. You, if you've watched me enough, you know I don't know where it puts it. It's either over here or over here. Sometimes my camera will flip me backwards, and I don't know where it's going, but it's going on somewhere like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, I want to show you some pictures that I found at a home that I did. All right, it's one of the worst bed bug infested homes that I ever did in Charlottesville. Now, I go statewide for bed bugs. I go all over the state of Virginia. I live in Virginia, and anywhere in Virginia, I will travel. I will make a day trip three, four hours away, do a bed bug job, and come home if I have to. Um, that's just what I do. I like to kill bed bugs. I enjoy it. People are so worried about them, they can't believe that I can get rid of them. Sometimes it's just one treatment, and it's it, you know, it's fun. I, I enjoy my job. I've done my job since I was a child. I'm second generation. Uh, my kids go with me a lot. They'd be third generation. I started training to be an exterminator when I was six years old. My son started when he was eight. So just to give you an idea, my son's 15 now. Just to give you an idea, that's what we do. <laughs> um, 
And if you ever ask, like if you're watching this video and you're curious about talking to me personally, I do have links for that. If you want to talk to me on the phone or something like that, I do make myself available, but I'm going to include the link below if you're interested. I've had a lot of people that have messaged me that ask how they could get a hold of me directly. And so I'm going to go ahead and leave that below as well, either in the first pinned comment or I'll leave it in the description. It's always in the description. Every video, it's in the description. But if you can't find it in the description, it will be in the, uh, in the first comment if I think to post it there. But I can't remember. So anyway... Let's get back to what I was talking about, encasements. The problem is, is that they rip. And when they rip, the bed bugs come out. And this is where I'm going to put the picture up. So, when the bed, when the mattress rips, <coughs> say it's six months, say it's nine months, say it's a year, let's say it's 14 months, that's still not 18 months. The bags have to stay on the bed for them to work. You can't take them off. You can't take the mattress out. You can't wash this mattress cover. So let me give you a scenario. You got a little one. I've got little ones. Get into bed, middle of the night, have a nightmare. Find out they peed in their bed. They come in your room and they've got pee on them. It gets on your bed, it soaks through your sheets, and now it's on your mattress cover. What do you do? Do you take the mattress cover off and wash it? I would. I'm not laying in someone's pee all night long. I'm not going to leave it on the bed. So you take the mattress cover off. Now you've opened the mattress and you've released eggs. You've released live bed bugs for whatever reason. And this is months after you've had a bed bug job done and you've put these mattress encasements on. This is a long time. Maybe you don't, maybe you're like, well, they got, they're probably dead by now. I haven't been bit since I first had it treated. Everything's fine. I'm going to go ahead and take these mattresses out now. But you release bed bugs again. You've got them all over again. So that's one scenario. Another scenario is mattresses, they just, just, I'm going to keep this G-rated. Just getting in and out of the bed will cause friction against the box spring. So the way a mattress encasement works is usually you don't just encase your mattress, you also encase your box spring. The box spring is the most common place on a bed, other than the bed frame and maybe the headboard, that bed bugs like to live. They like to live inside the box spring. So you encase the box spring in one of these big zipper bags, and that's great. But the frame of your bed rests against your box spring. And if you don't have a box spring and your mattress is resting on the frame, it's resting on the frame too. And so the friction of getting in and out of the bed will cause rips and tears at the stress points, which usually on like a metal frame, there's bolts that go down through the metal frame that hold it together. Those bolts normally don't cause any problem, but when you put a piece of nylon between the box spring and the bolt, the weight of the bed and you getting in and out of the bed every single day, multiple times a day, will cause that to rip. I have seen the nicest like four or $500 bed bags for beds, the mattress encasements, last only nine months, which is a long time. Nine months is a long time for a piece of nylon to go through that kind of abuse. But then, like it's these pictures that I'm going to show you, that I showed you, that mattress, the mattress encasement was on the bed for nine months. And as soon as the encasement ripped, the bed bugs were loose. They were still inside the mattress encasement. They weren't dead. They were in there, but they were starving. In fact, most of these bed bugs you'll see in this picture, or that you've already seen in the picture, I don't know how long I'm going to leave it there, but um, these bed bugs, the translucent ones, haven't fed in a long time. And so you can tell they haven't eaten in a long time. And there's all different stages of life in this because the bed bugs got loose. They started biting the person and laying eggs immediately, right away. And the landlord called me. I had to go out and treat the mattress. I took a mattress encasement to just throw them away, just get rid of them. They're not, they're not worth keeping. They're ripped anyway. They're not working. And so we had to get rid of the, um, we had to get rid of the bed. <laughs> And my wife is ordering stuff on Amazon. The thing comes up and flashes and says, hey, your shipment will be here tomorrow. Anyway, if anybody has an addiction to Amazon, leave that below too. I'd like to know that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, like I was saying, the so the mattress encasements tear. 
live bed bugs come out and then they're loose again. So that's your second scenario. That's the most common one, actually. Then this is why I don't like mattress encasements. Um, if you have an exterminator come in or if you do your own treatment, let's say you come in and you treat your bed and you treat your box spring and you treat your bed rails and your headboard and your footboard and everything else that's got your bed held together, that's places that bed bugs can live. And then you go and you put a mattress encasement on your mattress and your box spring. You are, in fact, sealing the chemical in. Bed bugs don't just live on the bed. And this is something I need to stress. I know they're called bed bugs because they bite you when you're in the bed. But they don't just live on the bed. They live in the outlets of your wall. They will live behind your shoe molding. They will live behind your uh, chair, uh, like chair rail molding. They'll live behind your curtain rods. They will live behind your door facings. They will live in hollow spaces in the wall. The wall voids themselves. They will squeeze under the carpet, and they will go in under the tack strip. I have found them living under the tack strip of carpets before. Um, there's lots of places that bed bugs can live that aren't your bed, but they're really close to your bed, maybe just a few inches from your bed. So you know, understand that when you go and you encase your mattress and you encase your box spring and all that surface that you just treated with crossfire is now covered up and the bed bugs can't even crawl on it. Most of the time, bed bugs don't actually live on the mattress. You can find them on a mattress, but because it gets so much use and because it vibrates and because it moves and because people are in and out of it all the time and move around on it, it gets a lot of movement and the bed bugs don't feel as safe on a mattress. That doesn't mean they won't live on a mattress. I've found them on air mattresses before. Um, I've found them on all kinds of mattresses, but the most common place to find them on a bed is the box spring and, like I said, the bed frame. Um, but that's far enough away to where they're not getting a whole lot of movement, not as much as if they were actually on the mattress, and so they typically will live in places like that to be safe. <coughs> so understand, there's not really... The only... Uh, let me... let me. I keep kicking my, my tripod. Sorry about that. The... Let me explain the most effective way to use a mattress encasement. The most effective way to use a mattress encasement is if you just bought a brand new mattress. You've already killed your bed bugs. You want a brand new mattress. And in order to protect your investment, you wrap your mattress in a mattress bag. And you may even wrap your box spring in a mattress encasement too. But understand that in order for it to continue to work, you're gonna have to replace it. You're gonna have to keep a check on it. You need to wash them, you need to take them off and wash them. You need to check for any frays, any holes in the stitching, anywhere on the mattress encasement that it might actually be tearing, and you need to throw it away and buy a new one. Duct tape doesn't work. I've seen people to go behind and where it rips and put duct tape over it and stuff. That won't stop bed bugs. You're best off throwing it away and buying a brand new one. But if you're wanting to actually, you know, protect your investment, that's what it's good for. I've seen hotels do this. A lot of new hotels, a lot of uh, hotels that are getting new beds and stuff, they will put mattress encasements on the mattress to protect them from bed bug invasion. Because once the bugs get into a mattress, you have to treat the mattress to get rid of the bed bugs. And so a lot of hotels just don't would rather not do that. And so they just put the mattress encasement on the bed. It's protecting the mattress. And then you don't have to worry so much about the bugs infesting the mattress. So I hope this has been a educational video about mattress encasements and why I personally don't recommend them. Um, it's a way a lot of exterminators upsell an account. They'll say, oh, you know, after we treat for bed bugs, we'll put these mattress encasements on and everything, and that's all fine and good and all, but it's just, in my opinion, it's not very effective. It's not worth the hassle, and it's not worth the money. You guys have a really great day. I appreciate it, and look forward to the next one. Thanks.